Hello class, this is a screencastify to show you how to complete the Google Classroom scavenger hunt um, and to also help you figure out kind of where you might find some answers on that document. So I'm on our main feed and you can see a view only list of the questions here. Um, so we are going to show where you could get an editable copy. We'll go to classwork and then you are going to want to scroll to homework and assignments and when you click on this document it's going to open up your own copy of the Google Classroom scavenger hunt. So I won't read through all of the questions with you but I will give you a little bit of an overview. So for this one I've given you a hint about what's your teacher's name and where you should look for it. Um, and you'll see that there are instructions about which topics on Google Classroom. For example, for this third question, you would go to the Classroom Expectations topic and see what you could find. And then for classwork, that's where we originally went. Um, we would try and figure out which of these topics might tell you a little bit more about your teacher. I'll give you a hint. The welcome one will certainly do that. There's going to be a question about where you can find notes on Google Classroom. We'll be using notes quite a lot and there is a tab called notes for class. Um, and then you'll answer a couple more specific questions about the notes for Monday's class. Um, and then a few different topics will help you out with this one. And I know it looks like there's a lot of assignments to turn in the first week, but a lot of them are actually just join this platform. So for example, if we go through, you're already doing the Google Classroom scavenger hunt. Joining our Flipgrid classroom is literally just clicking and putting your email in. This one may take a little longer, but you'll have time in class on Monday to work on it. This one, again, you're literally just clicking and putting in your email. For this one, it will take a little longer, but you'll also have class time for it. This one, you literally just click and join. This one is going to take maybe 15 minutes. It's one of our quizzes is, um, but you'll have almost all week to work on it because it's not due till Thursday. Then you've got some boom cards, which we will have time in class on Thursday to work on, and then they aren't due till Friday. And then the last thing will be for this week will be just literally hitting submit on your notes for the week. Um, basically, I just check them really quickly when you turn them in by 5 p.m. on Friday, and then I give them back to you so you can study with them. So even though 10 assignments for the week sounds like a lot, most of them you have class time for, and about half of them are literally just click the link and join our classroom. So pretty quick. You'll be asked where to find the syllabus. Then I'll ask you a couple questions about the standards for Modern Languages Level 1, which are the standards that guide our class. And then a few things asking about my Bitmoji classroom. And once you're on that Bitmoji classroom, I'll go ahead and show you guys where to find that. There are going to be some more specific questions that have to do with the different posters that you could click on. Um, the first one, I believe, is going to have you click on the poster with a star on it. So there will be some opportunities on the scavenger hunt for you to explore there. And then I'll also show you where you'll be able to find the link here to go to my Spanish class website. There will be a few questions about it on the scavenger hunt. It'll be on this little papel picado or punched paper poster thing. So that's where you'll find the link to our website. All right, I hope this makes you feel a little bit better about the scavenger hunt. You're going to do great. Hang in there.